Sew me at the pole. Sew me. Somebody was calling from the top of the hill. Sew me. Knew who it was without looking around. It was his big brother, Lummy, who was one year older. He had got out of school later than Sawmy and had run fast to catch up. Sawmy, the call was much louder now and came from close by. Got you, said Lummy, grabbing his younger brother by the arm. When the two brothers stood side by side, Lummy's head was higher than Sawmy's. Lummy had the letters L and M on his school bag. They stood for his name, Lummy. Dad had written the L just a little bit higher because Lummy was always just a little bit taller. They walked along the road until they found an odd-shaped bottle lying in the gutter. Sawmy thought he saw it move up and down, so he watched closely. The brothers looked in amazement as the bottle began to dance. I think I'm going balmy, said Sawmy. When the bottle stopped moving, Lummy pounced on the bottle and slowly pulled out the cork. I am the genie of wishes, said a voice. And out of the bottle came a little creature with sparkling eyes and spiky hair. It sang, So me, la me, you're not balmy. I was in a fix. Ow! You have found a way to charm me. I'll show you some tricks. Wow! I wish I could get away from here, said so me. Name the place and you're there, replied the genie. You have three wishes. Let's go somewhere really exciting. Let's go to the hot steamy jungle in the middle of the world. So they shut their eyes tight and flew to the hot steamy jungle in the middle of the world. Mosquitoes dive bomb them by day and bats clawed at them during the long, still nights. All the time, they were being watched by angry tigers whose eyes shone in the darkness. Their growling got louder and louder. It's too hot here. I'm getting scared, said so me. All right, then, replied Lummy. Let's go to the North Pole. Why there, asked the genie. Because it's a lot colder, and I don't think tigers live in the ice and snow. So they closed their eyes tight and flew to the North Pole. Every there where they looked, there were bare patches. They got colder and colder and colder. Once chattering teeth, the genie sang, So me, la me, you are la me. This isn't very nice. We get colder and get older sitting on the ice. We had enough, said both boys together. So closing their eyes, they wished themselves back on the way home from school. When they opened their eyes, the bottle and the genie had gone. I can whistle, said Lamy. He went, so me, la me, so me, la me, so me, la me, so. So me, la me, so me, la me, so me, la me, so. So me looked at at him with wide eyes and made a strange huffy sound with his lips. 
He wished he could whistle more than anything else in the world, so he decided to practice every day.